Hello and welcome to Nature Going Smart Indian Expedition, where we explore the science of plants with medical properties that are less known in Western countries. Today we will talk about Morinda citrifolia, or as it is known here, the divine noni. This plant has been discovered by the Polynesians more than 2000 years ago and has been used since for traditional medicine. It is known by several names, headache tree, painkiller fruit, cheese fruit, great morinda, Indian mulberry, but its Latin scientific name is Morinda citrifolia and it belongs to the family of Rubiaceae. These plants usually grow around coastal, coastal regions, around the sea level, because it grows easily with salty soil. It can also grow around 400 meters above the sea levels, usually in forest areas where the lava flows underneath. The fruit can grow up to a size of 12 centimeters and have, has a peculiar lumpy surface. The more the fruit matures, the more it becomes whiter and whiter. The seeds inside are actually of a triangular shape and are of a reddish brown color. From ancient times to now, with alternative medicine, this plant has been used for a wide number of disorders, from gastric ulcers to depression, senility, arthritis, body pain, menstrual issues, AIDS, as well as ischemia, strokes, and cardiac issues and a number of cancers. If you're interested about Morinda citrifolia and its use for as an anti-tumoral agent, I recommend you watch the next episode which will be entirely on this topic. Almost all parts of the plant are used for medical purposes, the fruit, the leaves and the roots of the plant. So various compounds are present in the divine noni. Mostly scopoletin, which is a coumarin, caprylic acid, which is a fatty acid, high level of potassium, as well as a wide number of terpenoids, high level of vitamin C, some alkaloids, and then a wide number of flavonoids and kinones. The fruit and the leaves of Morinda citrifolia have very strong anti-inflammatory properties. It contains compounds like polyphenols, kinones, alpha tocopherol, beta carotene, vitamin C, and many other terpenoids with already shown antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. All of these compounds work synergistically and that is why Morinda citrifolia um, can act on so, so many different disorders. The anti-inflammatory activity of the noni was shown in a number of studies. I will report one done in vivo on animals. Rodents were injected with carginian, which is an irritant, in the po. This results in an inflammatory response, which is very visible, and it shows a swelling, a po edema. The rats, the animals that received noni fruit juice, which is rich in polyphenols, uh, showed a significant reduction in the edema, in the swelling of their po. Moreover, the production of NO and prostaglandin E2, which are two biomarkers of pain and inflammatory pain, so inflammation and pain, were markedly inhibited. They were way less than in the control rats. The, the way of function of the divine noni was shown to be as well through the inhibition of COX-1 and COX-2 pathways. These pathways are very important and they're also similarly inhibited by a very common class of anti-inflammatory drugs, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin. And in fact, the Morinda citrifolia, similarly to aspirin, decreases the inflammation and the pain, as well as decreasing the density of the blood. And that is the rationale for the use of the Morinda citrifolia as well in, uh, for hypertensive patients and patients with cardiac issues. Its aspirin-like effects make it a really good product for people suffering from cardiac issues or high blood pressure. Moreover, having high levels of potassium, as you certainly know, uh, it's very important for who suffer from hypertension. In fact, the more potassium we intake, 
the lower the levels of sodium we retain in our body and therefore the lower the density of our blood. So making it a really, really good product for who suffer from hypertension and cardiac issues. But what if you already underwent, if an ischemic attack already happened? Does this plant offer um, an aid, antioxidant aid, neuroprotective aid? A group of scientists exam examined just that by uh, administering a concentration of 10% fruit juice, noni fruit juice, to animals that were previously treated with a two hours cerebral, cerebral artery occlusion, meaning preventing the blood flow through an artery going through the brain for two hours. They showed that the group of animals that received the noni fruit juice completely suppressed the deve development of neuronal damage. On top of that, usually after an ischemic attack, um, glucose intolerance comes about and the animals who received the noni fruit juice had a total suppression of glucose intolerance and actually they found higher uh, levels of uh, insulin in the serum. So these experiments were brought further which, uh, to demonstrate uh, the use of the divine noni for diabetic patients because in traditional medicine it has been used for many many years for people suffering from diabetes and in fact there was a confirmation that it does ameliorate uh, glucose intolerance as well as increasing the secretion of insulin and very importantly it's also a great neuroprotectant that as you know over time a uh, diabetic patient can suffer from um, cognitive decline. So it's a very useful compound for both types of diabetes, one and two. The noni fruit juice protects the brain from impairment of cognitive function. It improves the stress-induced decrease in blood vessel density, especially in the hippocampal dented gyrus area, which is the area deputed to learning and memory. In order to understand how Morinda citrifolia works for conditions such as gout, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and cardiac issues, we need to understand what uh, the exoenzymes are. Exoenzymes are a class of enzyme which is typically found within the lungs and the serum and they produce reactive oxygen species or free radicals. Uh, during uh, infections um, exoenzymes tend to uh, be overproduced. For example during um, influenza infection there is an overproduction of exoenzymes. Also, liver damage can provoke a massive um, secretion of exoenzymes, so many that they're released in the blood. And this, in turn, provokes renal failure. Why? Because exoenzymes are directly associated with the metabolic pathways for the formation of uric acid. And that is why targeting exoenzyme is very, very important in order to prevent and cure gout, COPD, as well as cardiac, cardiac issues. So there is an allopathic drug that actually targets the production, inhibits the production of exoenzymes, which is called allopurinol, and it's used for all of these three disorders that, that, I, that I just mentioned. Similarly, research has found that the divine noni works exactly in the same way by inhibiting these enzymes. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll get updates for the next video all about Morinda citrifolia and its anti-tumoral actions. If you'd like to support our work, then check out the link below where you'll find plenty of ways to support us via social media through our platform Nature Going Shop as well as through a donation of any amount. Thank you very much and see you next time.